from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, we'll follow the Hobie fishing team to Sweden for fun days of fishing in picturesque lakes. But first, old friends Wade Middleton and Jeff Creed are going back to the lake they fished on growing up. It's a really cool little body of water right outside Ardmore, Oklahoma. It's, it's been there forever, you know, and as kids, we fished it and, and caught a lot of little fish, and it's gone through just like all lakes do, resurgences, peaks and valleys, and I can admit it now, it's where I used to skip school and spend a lot of time. I mean, it was one of my favorite places to go fishing, and, and I'm gonna let him admit if he skips school, uh, because I already know the answer, I'm just curious if he'll be honest. This is where I really learned to fish, was this lake. Um, my parents would drop me off here, in the mornings, whenever I, as quick as I get, I'd look forward to Saturday morning, they would drop me off and come back at dark 30. That's what we called it. Still in my family, it's still a joke, because they'll say, what time are you gonna be home? And I say, dark 30. So this is where Wade and I would fish, and, and then we would get a couple buddies together, and we would take two-man boats, like the bass buggies and stuff. And we, would, we would all throw in like $5 a piece and have tournaments out here. So I have been fishing this lake, really, that's what's scary. I, I have been fishing this lake for over 40 years of my life. So it's a special place to me. You, you will get a bite right there. Oh, took if you don't get a bite right there, you can punch me in the face. Really? Yeah. Not hard. Yeah, now you gotta Softer. fish it right though. You can't just like pull it in to <laughs> Can't reel it in. <laughs> no, I guarantee you're gonna get bit right there. <laughs> this is where we kept our boats, man. Yeah. Some of those boats were probably here 40 probably, years yeah. ago. <laughs> Bunch of them have sunk. <laughs> Look go. at that sucker. Yeah, I mean, that thing hadn't moved in. I guarantee that one was here for sure. Yeah, yeah, there's no telling. Uh oh, fish hunt. Oh, good one. Begging, begging. Look at you. You called it, there'd be a five pounder on this. That's the average one out here, dude. <laughs> I want you to look at how healthy these suckers are. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, dude? Look at that fish. Got it. Ah, little guy. Me wet. Look at you. Why <laughs> oh, you got the water all over your face? That, that. Dude, that was that's so <laughs> unintentional. What are you catching them on? I'm flipping a big bite fighting frog in black and blue. When he catches more than you on a certain color, you go to his color. I'm not dumb. Coming out. Oh, oh, big it. Good one. I'm getting front ended pretty good right now. It's <laughs> a good one. Here, we need a picture. That's a pretty good average fish, isn't it? <laughs> you see those old cattail shake when he They went to shaking when he went in there on that one. Right where he should have been. Oh, oh! <laughs> you hit the bass! Apologize. Sorry, bass. Petty. I ain't petting it. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> he popped that sucker right in the head. Well, I was hung in the reed. I wanted to get the next <laughs> shot on the point over there. I'm getting home cooked. <laughs> Got him. Spinnerbait fish. Yeah. Get on it. Don't, <laughs> don't touch him. Don't lose him. <laughs> Dude, that could have been a difference maker. But he's not going to weigh one pound. You want to bet me a dollar, Reynolds, that between this point and the next deal around, I catch a five pounder? Hey, not five. Reynolds still five, winning. He's a good one. Three pounder. They look they're all. They're, I'm telling you, dude. Fat. They didn't they're look thick like that all the other way day. Tail. They're they're like getting ready to spawn, aren't they? None of those look like that the other day. Is that what that means? Got him. 
That's a good one. I'm in, buddy. Get him, Wade. It's mean, Arthur. Yeah. Uh. Ticka, 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 ticka. That's pretty cool. How many bass do you think we caught on those rocks right there? We're fixing to be some more right caught right here. And right there. We're fixing, and right there. I'm telling you, we're fixing to do work from here all, all the way down. down. Uh, we're going to save this for tomorrow since we have a short day. All right. Cool. It is raining. How, how bad did we want to get out here? It's been pouring since the moment uh, we got here. Been like awful. being a little kid and just get back out here and it's go catch something. No, no weather. It rained all day long. Coming up, it's the second day on the lake. The rain has finally stopped, but the bet continues. You sons of fishes. Ain't enough fish on this lake for two clubs. Really? Well, we see plenty of fish live with pan optics. Yep. Dang, we should get pan optics. Or maybe we'll just take yours. What's going on here? You boys have license? Yes, yes sir. sir. Nope. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Wade Middleton and Jeff Creed are fishing on the small private lake they used to fish on when they were kids. They choose to use a small boat and small outboard, perfect for a small lake. You know, our setup for this trip's really cool. We've got a, a, you know, one, of the, one of the many different models of Ranger aluminum boats. It's perfect for, for a lot of different bodies of water. It's got a little 25 horsepower Yamaha motor on it. You're talking about fuel efficiency and quiet. That's it. Uh, to a T. And these, these style of boats are really perfect for a lot of people and a lot of small bodies of water. I mean, there are a lot of bodies of water across the nation that you're limited in horsepower, and this club is one of them. You can't have a motor bigger than, than what we've got on the back right here, and there's a lot of public lakes that are the same way. There's a lot of big pockets and coves that people live on that this is all they need. I mean, you look at the features built into the boat that we've got here, plenty of rod storage, a big deck for two guys and a camera guy in the back. You put a little 25 horsepower Yamaha on the back like this, and, and you've got a great price point boat that you can still go out and catch just as big or bigger fish in than we do when we're running a lot of our big boats around. We got it. There's a misconception on bass fishing. I'm telling you, the big boats are awesome. I love it. I love my big boat. I got a 250 show on it and I love that boat. But don't think you have to drop that kind of money to be a good tournament angler. Because when I show up at a tournament, like a local tournament, the guy that scares me the most, honestly, is the guy in the boat like that, that when they call his number, he goes around the corner and puts that trolling motor down because I know that guy, he's gonna fish all day. He's gonna fish what's in front of him, and that's exactly what we did on this lake. Wade is like feeling it today. He goes, put the trolling motor down, let's fish. Huh, I like it. Oh, he smoked it too. <laughs> yeah, I know what you wanted. Nah. You, you're going to say, would you call that a three pounder, cameraman? Two and three quarters. Is that what you think? Two and three quarters? I don't know. Throwing the wrong way, obviously. There's a, there's a, there's a pattern to this. <laughs> yeah. And I finally got a shot at one. Now, what now. are you flipping? I'm flipping, a, uh, I'm flipping the flight and frog. And that's a no brainer. Stutch. <laughs> There's a real one. There's yeah, a look at fish. that. Hey, you think that fish spawned yet? Nope. Good grief, dude. <laughs> look at that, man. Yeah. Uh-oh. My pot is on. Oh, it's a good one. 
<laughs> no, but he's oh, not that, a three and a half pounder. No. He might have her four pounder. Nope. Oh yeah, he's close. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. Uh oh, maybe, maybe. Hey, come on, maybe. buddy. Nope. Ah. Yeah, we have more bobber stuff. Yeah, we do. <laughs> you know, there's things in life that you should see, and in, in that you know, the seven wonders of the world, the biggest bath, the birth of your child, your you know, the memory of your wife and you getting married and being ingrained in your mind. Then there's other things you should be able to forget. So we're fishing down this bank and it's a cliff and you get to these real pretty flowers. And I mean, these are pretty flowers. They were nice. I was kind of in the moment. But the next thing I know, Crete's jumping out of the boat and he's running up onto the dock and he's, he's lays out like a centerfold, like a Sports Illustrated model centerfold. And he's just laid there and he's posing for all the world to see. And for it to be ingrained in my mind and, and stuck in my memory. I mean, I'm, I, I'm scarred. Got one hook in him in this round. <laughs> we got him. Nice, Wade. Uh, we're, we got, how far do we got to do to catch eight in this round? We're down a lot to the cameraman. Even though we're catching fish nonstop, we're still losing dollars. You got one? Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a good one. I'm going to let this one go. Uh, you can get that one. That's a four pounder, dude. Four pounder! <laughs> So the bet on this one was we had to catch eight fish from that dock to that point. And one of them now, is a he a four pounder, pounder or not? Uh, I don't know. You're gonna have dude, to. Look, I mean, dude, I think he's a four pounder. I think pounder, it's four pounder. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm. I think it's a four pounder. I think it's four pounder. Everybody's gonna go. I'm telling you, dude. That, you think it's four pounder? That sucker, <laughs> I think dude. it's four pounder. <laughs> Wade and Jeff already lost two bets to the camera guys, and coming up, there's a third bet. Stay tuned. At Ranger, our dedication to real quality and craftsmanship runs deep. You'll see the rewards in every saltwater model we build. From our commitment to constant research and innovation, to the design and construction of our own components, we're focused on solid confidence and lasting peace of mind. The Ranger Saltwater Series. It's a legacy of leadership engineered for optimum performance, while consistently reinforcing the ultimate ownership experience. Learn more at rangerboats.com. Meet the water's lightest 25 horsepower four stroke, the all new Yamaha F25, the new standard in 25 horsepower portable four strokes. At just 126 pounds, it's got the best power to weight ratio of any 25 horsepower four stroke on the water. With performance that bests the previous Yamaha F25 and features like Yamaha's VTS for precise trolling speeds, batteryless EFI, built in resting pads, and carry handles, it's the perfect portable power for small boats. Hobie's Mirage Drive kayaks set the standard for fun on the water. Whether your passion is fishing, sailing, or recreational adventure, Hobie's got a kayak for you. Hobie's Mirage Drive mimics nature's proven designs for efficient and powerful propulsion and enhances your kayaking experience. Mirage Power, Mirage Performance, Mirage Drive. Hobie, enjoy the ride. When I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy, Angle Coolers, rugged, durable, high-performance marine coolers, and by Sawyer Products. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're on a private lake in Oklahoma where Wade Middleton and Jeff Crete grew up learning to catch bass. The thing about fishing with Jeff and I is, is we get in, we can get in a bind. We may be there for a mission because we're both in the industry, but we can get offline pretty quick. We can get on these wild tangents and goofing off. And 
I mean, there's no telling what one or the other is gonna do, but the reality is we, we're competitive in a lot of ways as well. So, you know, on this particular trip, we're even kind of kind of playing with the uh, the camera guys. Hey, tell us how many fish we can or can't catch between this point and this point, and you know, how big they've gotta be, because it's a challenge and that makes it fun. It makes us really focused, because otherwise, we're allowed to be off on some left field tangent out there gossiping and messing with each other and forget that we're there to catch a few fish. There's four. I gotta four. catch four more. God, they're so fat. It's funny how you can get out here and you're having fun with your friends. Right now, we're literally doing over and unders with the camera guys on how many fish we can catch in a pocket in a certain area. We gotta we got, catch. We gotta catch three more. Three more. So our, our our deal on this one, we had to catch eight from over there. We've got a couple on a square bill. We've got a couple flipping. We've got know, about 200 yards left to catch three to, to win this one. We're already down significantly to them today. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Real one there. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah. Got him. That's a real one. Fat one. <laughs> We're getting closer, boys. Hey, you look good there. Thanks, buddy. Good form. Oh, son. Got him. Got him. Nice. One away if we can get Man, him in the boat. The crankbait's been good. Hey, the old Spro square bill has kept Save us this. in the game on this little run here. Sure is. Not the biggest one. Oh, fish on. Uh -oh. He's a little one, but. Oh, oh, got him! Hold on to got him! Got him! We about lost him right there. Hey, you think there? You think there's no males or fish? Ah! Oh, how can you do that? Such a nice guy. Sorry. I guess that's revenge for me uh, showing you on there, laying in your little uh, yeah. pole pose over yeah. there. Yeah. Well, that's wrong. Dude, you got so. <laughs> Dude, you got me mad. I turned around oh. right into that. Mm. That's kind of funny. Well, we won a bet. We did. We, we did. won a bet. Uh-oh, it's a male, too. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> That's a winner of the bet. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> I'd say that's a three pounder. Dude, if that's not a three pounder, that's a three pounder all day long. Oh, you lose. Yeah, you don't think that's a three pounder? That's a three pounder. Turn that Seriously? belly around. Turn him around. Turn Dude. him around. Look at that belly. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I flipped in there and you see that cat tail shake? Pulled. I went, oh, I started, my heart started beating. You got excited about that. Oh, that may be our four right Is that the one? This is our winner. Get him, Wade. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's our five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there yeah, we go. That's a good one. <laughs> that's winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. Look at the gut on that fish Let me see. right there. You know, fishing trips like this, it just goes to show you. You don't have to overthink it. You don't have to get too complicated. You can just go out with a buddy in a small boat with a small motor and a few rods and reels and some baits and have a great time. And granted, we're, we're fishing a club that we grew up on, but you can simulate this in a lot of public lakes across the nation, a lot of urban bodies of water that have limited uh, motor restrictions, as well as private ponds, as well as little creeks, little rivers. I mean, this is a great little setup that you and anybody anywhere along the lines can go out and enjoy and have a good time with. It just so happens on this one here, we probably clowned a little more than we normally would, but we caught a lot of bass. Coming up, Hobie Kayak Fishing Crew goes to Sweden in search of giant pikes. Stay tuned. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley Smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Coolers, go with the original.
From out on the water, straight to the grill, and everywhere in between, Americana Outdoors has you covered. Our newly designed website features instructional videos, product reviews, and cooking recipes from some of the top contributors in the business. For even more Americana Outdoors content, sign up for the monthly e-magazine featuring the latest outdoor news and trending topics in the industry. Don't miss out on your chance to learn from the pros. Visit AmericanaOutdoors.com now. Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Here at Big Bike Base, we've got a big line of different plastics, and you know they're all a tool, so you want to have them with you all the time. I made several checks in crowded areas, flipping that right there. Just a six-inch Big Bike Creek Tail Worm. Here at Big Bike, we came out with four brand new colors this year. All four of these colors are going to be great fish catching baits. Definitely my number one go-to bait that Big Bite has out right now is the Big Bite Battle Bug. Big Bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Big Bite Bait, designed to bring the big bite to your line. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. And by Hobie, Hobie Fishing Mirage Drive Pedal Systems. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We follow the Hobie fishing crew across the Norwegian Sea to Sweden for the Hobie Riders event and spend a couple of fun days fishing on some of the many, many lakes in Sweden. What are we gonna try? We're gonna try big baits, slow troll with some light weights, see if we can come down to maybe five, 10 meters and okay. so get some horn strikes. Excellent, so this is a pretty deep lake. Um, the, you know, it drops off really quick at the shoreline. So yeah, down to 40 meters, something like that. That's crazy. So yeah. would you say concentrate most of our time today in that in those deeper areas? Yeah, locate the bait fish and okay. uh, circle around the bait fish, see if we can find some structure, see if we find some pikes. And there's some really big pike around here, depending on the waterway that you fish. And there are thousands of places to fish. There are tons and tons of lakes. If you look at a map of this area, it's pretty insane and it's actually kind of difficult to put a game plan together on where you want to fish. Oh, bite, 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 bite. We got a pike. First bite of the day for me. And still keep tension on the fish. All right. Now I'm clear to fight him however I want. Yeah, it feels heavy. The way they like to do it here in Europe is to grab it just nice and gently in the gills, being careful. Look at that. Sweet. First pike of the day. <laughs> That's a really nice one. Nice. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna let him go. The next day, the Hobie crew is heading to Lake Vanern, the largest lake in Sweden, the largest lake in the European Union, and the third largest lake in all of Europe. I've got a pike. Should I just take the pike or Northern hold pike. So Ian caught a 108 centimeter pike. That's the most giant pike that we've caught on this trip so far. I'm really stoked for him. He came out here all the way from the UK. First time fishing in Sweden. What a beautiful fish. That one's gonna be hard to beat, I think. 108 centimeters, that's a big one. With the 
So we also had some outdoor riders on the camera boat that were following us around. Uh, while our cameraman was filming us, they were trying to take some pictures so that they could write articles about kayak fishing for pike in Sweden. So they were casting around when, when it got a little bit slower and they actually ended up catching a few fish themselves. Awesome. Really nice fish right there. Fish number two on the day. Wow, their teeth are just gnarly. You got like rows and rows of teeth for days. But, really awesome one right there. Nice, easy launch. It's really different to anything I've ever fished before. I think uh, the first thing is it's just the sheer size of it. It's vast, you can't, you, you can't see to the other side. It is, it's, it's like an inland sea and the water is crystal clear. And there are islands, uh, rocks, reefs, pinnacles, uh, shallow bays, it's, it's got everything. It's just a really interesting place to fish. Yeah, this is a monster. <laughs> oh boy, it is a beast of a pike. This is what I've been hoping to catch while I've been here in Sweden. That's a monster of a pike. <laughs> Look at the size of the bait that it hit. Man, what a cool way to start the morning today. So first fish of the day, we're gonna keep on covering some water. I'm gonna let this big girl go. Mwah. We had fantastic weather, you know, some sheet glass days, a uh, little bit of rain here and there, but it's perfect weather for pike fishing. I caught a few fish every day and got to fish with some cool friends. So what a fantastic time here in Sweden. For in-depth stories from the fields and to watch any of our previous episodes, visit our newly designed and easy to navigate website at AmericanaOutdoors.com. Hey, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Denali Rods, tournament tested and tournament tough. Tired of forgetting to set a recording or missing the latest episode of your favorite outdoor show? Check out Outdoor Action today. Never miss a second of shows like Americana Outdoors, Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, and Whitetail Diaries. All of this at the press of a button without a subscription fee required. Start watching your favorite shows when you want to watch them by going to OutdoorAction.com or through the Outdoor Action channel on any Roku device. <laughs>